Hello everyone, welcome to Root to Mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve this interesting algebraic problem. So here we have given if x to the power 5 plus x to the power 4 plus x is cube plus x is square plus x equals to minus 1, then find the values of x. So here we have given a polynomial and we are asked to find all the values of x. Okay, so before going through the solution, please do subscribe my channel and click the bell icon for more such interesting videos. So, without any delay, let's just start the solution. We have given x to the power 5 plus x to the power 4 plus x is cube plus x is square plus x equals to minus 1. Okay. In the next step, let's just bring this minus 1 to the left hand side. So, we have x to the power 5 plus x to the power 4 plus x is cube plus x is square plus x plus 1 equals to 0. So, we have an algebraic formula that is x to the power n minus 1 can be factorized into x minus 1 multiplied with x to the power n minus 1 plus x to the power n minus 2 plus the series goes up to plus 1. Okay. Where n is a positive integer. Okay. So, we can write x to the power 6 minus 1 can be written as x minus 1 multiplied with x to the power 5 plus x to the power 4 plus x is cube plus x to the power 2 plus x plus 1. Okay. Here 6 also a positive integers. Now, in the next step, let's just multiply x minus 1 both side of equation. So, we have x minus 1 multiplied with x to the power 5 plus x to the power 4 plus x is cube plus x is square plus x plus 1 equals to 0. So, this total term is nothing but x to the power 6 minus 1. So, we have x to the power 6 minus 1 equals to 0. Okay. Now, we know an exponential law that is a to the power m whole to the power n which is equals to a to the power mn. So, we can write a to the power 6 as a to the power 3 whole to the power 2. So, applying this logic here we have x to the power 3 whole square minus 1 also can be written as 1 square which is equals to 0. So, by applying the algebraic identity of a square minus b square which is equals to a minus b multiplied with a plus b. We can write x is cube minus 1 multiplied with x is cube plus 1 equals to 0. And we know the algebraic identity of a cube minus b cube which is equals to a minus b multiplied with a square plus a b plus b square okay and the algebraic identity of a cube plus b cube is equals to a plus b multiplied with a square minus a b plus b square okay so applying the algebraic identity a cube minus b cube here and a cube plus b cube here by assuming a as x and b as 1 okay so we have x minus 1 multiplied with x square plus x plus 1 and here we have x plus 1 multiplied with x square minus x plus 1 equals to 0. So, in order to satisfy the given equation we have x minus 1 equals to 0 x plus 1 equals to 0 and x squared plus x plus 1 equals to 0 and x squared minus x plus 1 equals to 0. So, from here we are getting x equals to 1 is one of the solution of x and here we are getting x equals to minus 1 is the second solution of x and here we have a quadratic equation and here also we have a quadratic equation. So, we will apply the quadratic formula in order to find the values of x. So, here we have x equals to minus 1 plus or minus root under 1 minus 4 multiplied with 1 multiplied with 1 divided by 2 multiplied with 1. So, this is nothing but x equals to minus 1 plus or minus 
minus root 3 divided by 2 and we know that iota is equals to root over minus 1. So we can write x equals to minus 1 plus or minus iota root 3 divided by 2. Okay. So here we are getting x3 equals to minus 1 minus iota root 3 divided by 2 and x4 as minus 1 plus iota root 3 divided by 2. Okay. Now let's just find the values of x for this quadratic equation. So here we have x equals to 1 plus or minus root under 1 minus 4 multiplied with 1 multiplied with 1 divided with 2 multiplied with 1. So here we have x equals to 1 plus or minus root under minus 3 divided by 2. So here we are getting x3 equals to 1 plus or minus iota root 3 divided by 2. So here we are getting x equals to 1 plus iota root 3 divided by 2 as x5 root and the 6th root is equals to 1 minus iota root 3 divided by 2. Hence according to the fundamental of algebra the number of solution is equals to the highest degree of the polynomial. So we have highest degree as 6. So we must have 6 solutions. So we are getting x1 as 1 x2 as minus 1, x3 as minus 1 minus iota root 3 by 2, x4 as minus 1 plus iota root 3 by 2 and x5 as 1 plus iota root 3 by 2 and x6 as 1 minus iota root 3 by 2. These are the four solution of x is our answer. I hope you have understood the solution. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon for more such interesting videos. Thank you.